Hi guys, my name is Amaka and this is Lizama Stitches. You're welcome to today's tutorial. Thanks for being here. So in this tutorial, we are going to be learning how to make an exaggerated circle sleeve. So if you're yet to subscribe to this channel, please click on the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I upload new videos. So let's get started. These are the materials I'll be using for this tutorial. This is my satin, this is my interfacing, this is my crinoline. This interfacing is the hard one. It's the hard one. It's the one we call it peplum C. It's the very hard one. Now, this is my satin. So let me keep this aside. Now I'm going to be cutting this. I'm going to be cutting this as a flare. I'm going to be cutting it as a 720 degree circle. I'm not going to cut it as a as a flange. But I have a tutorial on how to make flans. In case if you want to learn how to make flans or you want to cut yours as a flans, I'm not cutting mine as a flans because the I don't want it to be too thick around the armhole. Maybe when I'm pleating it, I don't for it to for me to um, be able to achieve that fullness, it will, I will have to pleat enough of it. And by doing so, it it might not it might be too thick around the armhole. So I'm trying to avoid that. I have a tutorial on how to cut a 20 degree circle. I'm going to leave the link of that video in the description box below so that you can check it out later. I also have a tutorial on how to how to make flans. I'm going to leave the link of that video in the description box below so that you can check it out later. Now, now this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut now for, for us to now for you. Let, um, let me ex, let me do a brief explanation of 720. How you can achieve a 720 degrees flare. Now, for you to be able to achieve a 720 degrees flare, you need two. You need two. 360 degrees flare for you to be able to achieve a 720 degrees flare now let me keep this aside now this is my dress this is the dress i'm making so now this is the armhole i'm going to divide the armhole by two whatever it gives me i'm going to add the seam allowance which i'm going to use to join the two the two circles together plus the seam allowance which i'm going to use to sew it this is my now this is the arm my the arm the armhole now the armhole circumference is 16 inches. So let me keep this aside. Let me keep this aside. So let's do a little mathematics here. The armhole circumference I'm working with is 16 inches. 16 inches. So because it's it, it's 720 degree circle, I'm going to divide this 16 inches by 2. I'll divide it by 2. Now 16 divided by 2 gives you 8 inches. Now, 8 inches plus 1 inch inch, which I'm going to use to join the two circles together, gives you 9 inches. Plus, this 2 inches seam allowance, which I'm going to use to join the armhole, the 2 inches seam allowance for the armhole, gives you, gives you 11 inches. Gives you 11 inches. That is 8 plus 1 plus 2 gives you 11 inches. Now, to find our, now to find the radius, to find the radius of the circle, I'm going to divide this 11 inches by 6.28. Now, 11 divided by 6.28 gives you 1.75. That is one, one, one three quarter. Gives you one three quarter. Now, the, I'm going to cut two flares. I'm going to cut my, I'm going to fold my fabric into four, like when you want to cut a full circle. So I folded it into two. And I'll fold it again into four, just like this. So the radius of my circle is one three quarter. So I'm going to now, I'm going to rotate that one three quarter just like this. So I'm going to mark one three quarter. So this is the radius. This is the radius of my flare. This is the radius of my circle. So I'm, now from this point, I'm going to cut my nine inches. I told you that the first, the first one is going to be nine inches. So I'm, now the nine inches is seam allowance inclusive. The nine inches is seam allowance inclusive. So I'm going to cut my nine inches.
So I'll cut it. I'm going to cut from the seam allowance. Then I'll cut here. So this is the first one. Now this is a 360 degrees circle. This is a 360 degrees circle. Now when I cut the second one, I'm going to have, when I cut the second one, I'm going to have 720 degrees circle. So two, 360 gives you 720 degrees circle. I have a tutorial on how to make 180 degree circle, 360 degree circle, and 720 degree circle. I'm going to leave the link of that tutorial in the description box below so that you can check it out later. That tutorial is detailed. So check it out so that you understand better in case you don't know how to cut 720 degree circle. So I need two of this. I need two of this. I'm going to cut, I'm going to use this to cut the second one. I'm going to use this to cut the second one, and I'm also going to use it to cut the lining. So, which means I need four of this. I'm going to cut four of this. Two is going, two is going to serve as the main fabric, while two is going to serve as the lining. So, I have two of this. I've used this one to cut this. So, I have two of this. Now, I'm going to split it open. I'm going to split it open. So what I have here is 720 degrees circle. So I'm going to join it right side facing right side, just like this. I'm going to hold it. I'm going to hold it like this, and I'll sew it with half inch seam allowance. I'm going to join it with half inch seam allowance. And when I join it with half inch seam allowance, so I have my 720 degree circle here. So this is my 720 degree circle. You see how it is? This is my 720 degree circle. So now I'm going to cut, I'm going to cut the lining. I'm still going to use the satin fabric to cut the lining. Is that the same, just the same way I did this, I'm also going to do the lining. So, which means I need four of this. I need four of this. Now, this is my flare. You see that I've joined it together. I joined it with, with half inch seam allowance. Now, look at how it is. You see how it's flowing. You see how full it is. That is that's how 720 degree circle used to be. It's usually fuller than, than 360 degree circle. You see? See how it is. So, now, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to, now, I have the second one here. One is going to serve as the lining and one is going to serve as the main fabric. So I'm going to iron my interfacing on the one that is serving as the lining. So now, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this to my sewing machine and I'm going to join it right side facing right side. That is, after ironing my interfacing on it, I'm going to join it right side facing right side and I will sew. I'm going to sew it round. round. Now, I'm also attaching my... My crinoline, this is my crinoline. I'm going to attach my crinoline to it and I'll sew. I'm going to sew it round. I'll sew it round till I get to the to the to this part, to the end of my of my flare. Now take note of this. When sewing, don't stretch your crinoline. Don't stretch your crinoline. And another thing, while sewing, don't push your crinoline to the edge of your of the circle bring it down bring down your crinoline now you're, you're going to sew with half inch seam allowance but while you're sewing your this with half inch seam allowance place this you're going to put down your crinoline and so that you can sew on the tip of your crinoline you sew on the tip of your crinoline don't push your crinoline to the edge of your of your circle or of the flare bring it down a little and sew on the tip while you're sewing your flare, sew on the tip of your crinoline. Sew on the tip of your crinoline. Sew it round. Now, after sewing, you notch. You notch. After notching, you push your seam allowance on the on the lining and top stitch. You push your seam allowance on the lining and top stitch. After that, I'm going to turn it to the right side. So I'll do it and show you the outcome. So now this is my crinoline. Now this is my flare. You see that after sewing, I have to push the seam allowance on the lining and top stitched. So let me turn it to the right side. So this is the wrong side. Let me turn it to the right side. So this is it. You see what it looks like. So I don't need to pleat it much. I don't need to pleat it much. And, and I'm still going to have that, that fullness. So this is my basic sleeve. Now, this is my basic sleeve. I have a tutorial on how to draft a basic sleeve. I'm going to leave the link of that video in the description box below so that you can check it out later. So I'm going to bring the dress and I'll show you how to fix your sleeve.
So now this is my dress. Now I'm going to fix the sleeve here. So let me show you how to attach the sleeve. So this is the sleeve and and this is my flans. This is my flans. So this is how I'm going to fix it. Now this is the midpoint of the flans. I'm going to start by attaching the flans. So I'm going to attach the flans this way and I'll sew it. I'll sew it. Now as I'm sewing it, I'm going to pleat it a little because I have now, because I don't want it to get to this point, I'm going to stop somewhere here, somewhere around here. So I'm going to pleat it a little, a little pleating. You see? So I'm going to do something like this. And I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to do the same thing here. And I'll stop somewhere here. I'll stop somewhere here. So after doing this one, after pleating it, after doing here, so this is the basic sleeve. This is the basic sleeve. So I'm going to attach it this way, right side facing the, the flans. So I'm going to attach it this way, and I'm going to sew it this way. I'll sew it this way. So after sewing it this way, I'm going to turn my fabric. I'm going to turn my dress, and I'll sew my dress. I'll join the armhole and sew the, the, the armhole down. So when I sew there, I'll join the sleeve. And I'll sew the sleeve, join the sleeve together. So I'll do it and show you the outcome. So this is the outcome of the sleeve. Now I have a tutorial on how I embellished this dress with cup chain. And I also have a tutorial on how I made the beaded fringe on this dress. I'm going to leave the link of those videos in the description box below so that you can check them out later. So we are going to stop here for today. If you've not subscribed, please subscribe. We've come to the end of this tutorial. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.